Hey guys, so Mate 9 is now official and I'm sure a lot of people will be considering this phone as their next. But I'm here to tell you 5 things you need to know before you buy this phone. So coming at number 1 is the price. So I apologize for my last video where I said that the phone uh, would be priced as less than $600 but it's not. It's actually costing $776 and it's coming to US so uh, this is a pretty high uh, price point here for this phone because I never thought it would cost so much uh, but it is what it is obviously in this price range you have a lot of other phones to choose from I mean Google Pixel devices the uh, Galaxy S7 Edge uh, they have quad HD display I mean they they are really uh, top brands and they have like more brand power and more brand popularity compared to Huawei but I don't know why they price this phone so much this time. Next up is the Porsche design Huawei Mate 9 variant that comes with a 5.5 inch quad HD curved display like the Galaxy S7 Edge and uh, it's uh, also coming with a home button on the front, 6 gigs of RAM and 256 GB of internal storage so a curved screen variant uh, did came after all you know we did saw this in the leaks and rumors uh, a couple of weeks ago so this is a special limited edition that will cost you $1,549 wow that is so high and I don't know if anyone is like interested in spending that much money because you can get that same curved quad HD display uh, from the Galaxy S7 Edge with uh, almost half the price. And number three, we have reducing aging performance. So for years, people complained that their Android phone becomes slow over time, but it seems like Huawei has finally broken the code. Uh, they promised that the Mate 9 will actually get faster the more you use it, uh, You know, which is of course the opposite of uh, what really happens on Android device. For example, if you buy a phone and then you use it for some time, it will get slow after you install a lot of application, but this phone is different will get faster so the company claims that internal tests have found that the performance got uh, got improved by as much as 8% over 10,000 hours of simulated usage. So definitely for those people who want a long-term best performing Android device then this might actually be the phone. Fourth important thing is that the Huawei Mate 9 is actually the first Huawei phone that is shipping with the latest version of the Android on board, the Android 7.1 Nougat. And uh, this will include some notable changes and uh, and uh, the most important thing that I've seen here that is kind of different compared to what Huawei has done over the years is basically they're giving you the option to have app drawer enabled or disabled which is uh, like I said different from, from its previous uh, iOS like UI design. So I really appreciate uh, what they have brought in with software and obviously as I explained in the in the number three important thing that they do have something that uh, the reducing aging performance integrated in the software which will definitely help uh, the the hardware to get optimized to a person usage that is the key that is the code that Huawei has made uh, to improve the performance over time so and the last the most important thing that I want you to know is actually the battery so I've used pretty much all Android phones on the market uh, from time to time even their P9 plus and the battery performance on all the phones are roughly in between four to five hours of screen on time and uh, really they all support fast charging but no one is actually you can say like really good with the battery life but this phone is actually going to be good because it's coming with a 4000 mAh cell with uh, a claim that uh, the phone will charge up to 58% in 30 minutes and will provide you more than a day of usage so this is pretty insane because 58% in 30 minutes is actually uh, the battery percentage that I get with my one plus three. So uh, it, it is around that uh, point, you know, it, it may actually be faster compared to the dash charging of the one plus three, but I don't know. I'm not, I'm not of course having this phone personally, so we'll see it when it comes officially, but 58% in 30 minutes is crazy. And provided that it will provide you more than a day of usage is also more crazier. So. Now, in my opinion, it does pack up some seriously awesome stuff. The camera is also improved compared to the P9. Uh, Kirin 960 chipset plus 4 gigs of RAM is a really beastly combination we have. Uh, probably the most uh, powerful system we have inside of an Android phone right now on the market. And also, it's going to give you smooth long-term experience, the crazy battery life. But the price is way too much because, I mean, you, if you are a Huawei user, you might actually consider buying this phone. Like, you know, you are fine if you use Mate 8. Uh, but the thing is that there, this company Huawei is like not that much 
popular or big or famous, you can say, status-wise as the Samsung, you know. So the price that they're uh, providing is actually the price at which you can get the phones like Galaxy S7 Edge, um, Google Pixel, or maybe even an iPhone 7. So, I mean, it's crazy that they have priced it so much. But like I said, it is what it is. Welcome to the end of 2016. Smartphones are getting pricey, so... Yeah, uh, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. I'm interested to hear what you guys have to say about this Mate 9 phone. Will you be buying this phone? Would you think that it's a, it's a great alternative to some of Samsung high-end phones? You know, what do you think about this phone? I, I just want to know. Just comment below. And um, yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. Peace out.